overflows, enlightenment, awakening from deep slumber. One does not become enlightened just by imagining light. Instead, by making the darkness light or unconsciousness conscious, exposing all hidden dark corners to light. Then, like the quantum explosion, enlightenment dawns. Enlightenment is awakening from a deep sleep. It is coming to consciousness from a state of unconsciousness. It does not need any God outside. You are free to choose if you want to have a little longer sleep, then turn over. Pull the blanket cup and enjoy sleeping a little longer because it is God who is enjoying this sleep. Certainly, one day you will have to wake up. Do not be worried. There is no need to disturb God if he wants to sleep a little longer. And sooner or later, you will wake up. How long can you sleep? One day, you have to wake up. And in this eternity, it does not matter whether you wake up today or tomorrow. It does not matter at all. You can wake up early in the morning or late in the morning. Eternity is always available. You are free to choose when to wake up. God inside is the real thing, while God outside is dangerous. Its complications are ugly because God outside means worshipping, praising Him, praying to Him, going to the mosque, the church, the temple and the synagogue. God outside will never allow you to enter within yourself. In this light, Nietzsche's statement, God is dead and man is free, is relevant. Your eyes are focused outside and there is no God outside seen anywhere. You are looking into an empty sky. Both sleep and ignorance mean the same thing. One is physical sleep and ignorance is the denial of inner light or awakening within. The end of ignorance the dissolution of consciousness into conscious is the end of ignorance. Indeed, it is the beginning of enlightenment. Ignorance has no beginning, but it ends. Enlightenment has a beginning. It begins like a dawn, but it never ends. And both of these become one. They are both one. The essence of life lies within you. This is important. This very moment you can turn within yourself, look into yourself and know worship or prayer is needed. All that is needed is a silent journey 
into your being. This is meditation, a silent pilgrimage to your being. Meditation is silent pilgrimage to your being. Indeed, meditation is a silent pilgrimage to the inner. An enlightenment is the ultimate pilgrimage. And the moment you find your center, you have found the center of the whole existence. The center is within you. And it is true, if you can find the center within you, and simultaneously with that you have found the center of the whole universe and you can revolutionize, revolutionize it. That is the reason that all the governments of the world are against Buddhas, against the awakened ones who have no weapon or power of any kind, yet he is the most powerful person. When you discover the center within, along with that, you have discovered the center outside. the center of the whole universe and then your life enters into a new dimension. A revolution takes place in your life. Enough for now.